Good morning guys and welcome back to the farmhouse. Today is all things prepping and packing. So we are gonna do some from scratch meal prep for our camping trip this week and we need to start packing. So laundry will be getting done, things will be getting hauled out to the camper and all of those things. But first, let's make some breakfast and start tackling that laundry. I have a lot to do in the kitchen today, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. So things we are gonna make. We are gonna make sourdough zucchini bread. We're gonna make sourdough crackers, sourdough bread, which I actually prepped last night. And it is Friday night, so we are going to make pizza. I'm gonna do my Aunt Libby's pizza dough recipe because I'm going to end up using all of the sourdough to make zucchini bread and to make crackers. And I used it last night to make the bread. I'm gonna link all of the recipes below for you and I will try to explain it as I'm making it, but I also have kids here today, so might end up just being a time lapse because it might get too loud and just too crazy. We're gonna start with the zucchini bread. We're gonna use the zucchinis from our garden and they have to be shredded first. this in colander. Put the bowl underneath of it. And I'm gonna work on pressing out some of that excess water. And this is just gonna sit while I mix all the other ingredients. After I have the zucchini ready, we are gonna mix the dry ingredients. I am gonna use my scale to measure everything out. Um, I love baking this way because you get less things dirty. Like I get no dishes dirty, which means I have no dishes to wash, which is my favorite thing in the world. So I'm gonna use my scale to measure this out. Put it aside and start on my wet ingredients. Put it back on my scale, tar it out, and then I'm going to add 220 grams of the zucchini. Then I'm going to mix this up. I'm gonna pour my wet ingredients into my dry ingredients. And start mixing. While the muffins are baking, I'm gonna go ahead and shape this bread dough. Whoa. I prepped this last night um, because the sourdough starter was at its peak and it was ready. Um, the recipe for this is linked below, but I'm gonna shape it and I'll bake it here in a couple of hours. 
It is really hot outside again today, which means it's gonna rise quick, fast, and in a hurry. Now moving on to make some sourdough crackers. I'm probably gonna have to make another batch of muffins too because the kids wanted them for lunch and there's not many left. But we're gonna do some sourdough crackers. The bread is almost ready to go in the oven and I'm behind on the laundry, which doesn't surprise me. But crackers, all-purpose flour. Baking soda, some salt. Oh, salt is not that much. Some salt, brown sugar. Let's do sourdough starter first. is probably not as active as it needs to be, but it was active this morning. And I might be short, which is just gonna be how it is. Yeah, I'm a little short, but I gotta leave some in there so I can make more. I forgot to show you, I preheated the oven to 350 and I put my baking stone in the oven because we're gonna cook this on parchment paper and the baking stone. So I'm gonna run and get some parchment paper and we're gonna roll out this dough. We are gonna roll out this dough to be a 16th of an inch. So I'm gonna use my <laughs> measuring, my rolling pin with my handy measuring pieces because yeah it just makes it easier 1 16th is the yellow one so the way this works is you put whatever thickness you want on your rolling pin this is also great for pie crusts Okay, I'm gonna do a fourth of the dough at a time. So, not much. And then, we're gonna roll it out. If the dough does want to stick, then like that, I'm gonna put some flour on it. I got the dough all rolled out it's about a sixteenth of an inch thick and now I'm going to use my pizza cutter to cut it into squares. Another recipe I probably should have doubled today but I also don't have enough sourdough starter so maybe we'll make more tomorrow we'll see. I am waiting for my oven to heat up and then I'm gonna pop this in the oven for about 11 to 12 minutes. And before I do that, I'm gonna sprinkle some salt on top. Sourdough crackers are done. They look really yummy. I'm not sure if they're gonna make it camping. They might be gone by then, but more laundry to do, and then the last thing I think I have to bake today is pizza, and yeah, I'm tired already. So I'll let you know how these are. Bread is done and cooling. Now I'm gonna tackle the zucchini. I'm gonna bag this. I'm gonna put two cups per bag, and then the kids and everyone loved the zucchini muffins so much this morning that I am gonna make 
one more batch of zucchini muffins in the morning. And I'm also gonna make another batch of sourdough crackers. So I double fed my sourdough starter so that I have way more than enough to do both of those things. But in the meantime, I am going to bag this zucchini. I'm gonna do two cups per bag. I'll leave one bag out and then I will put the other bag in the freezer. I ended up not making pizza tonight because we had leftovers that we needed to use up before we leave. So instead of pizza, I'm going to make some yogurt. I'm gonna get this all heated up and get the culture in it and get it in the dehydrator. And then I am going to call it a night. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with us at the farmhouse today. Please let me know if you have any questions about anything that we made today. I would love to answer them. Leave them in the comments below and we will talk to you guys tomorrow.